Ooh. Now, y'all, just as y'all thought this situation couldn't get any more messier between Monica and Tanisha and the whole Salt Lake City franchise. First of all, how y'all doing today? My name is Josiah. Welcome to Josiah's World TV. Okay. Now, before we actually get into the content, be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button so you can be also notified um, when I post another video. Okay. Be sure to like the video and, you know, your boy, your boy is definitely dropping um, content back to back all week and weekend. Okay. But I wanted to get on here to give y'all, provide y'all an update. Now, if you did not know, um, I did an exclusive interview with Tanisha. Well, not an interview, but I will say more of a conversation on Wednesday evening. So if you haven't watched her, Tanisha's, Tanisha's side of the story, be sure to definitely check that out. Um, as she kind of give a little bit of insight of what happened on the season finale of The Royal Housewives of Salt Lake City. Now, um, there has been more drama that been spearing behind the scenes, and it got to the point where a video was actually leaked um, between Monica and her mom. You know, Monica doesn't really have the strongest relationship with her mother, um, and we all know that they had a, like a lot of drama, and we kind of seen that that really extreme toxic uh, relationship played out throughout the season. Okay, we saw how toxic the relationship was between Monica and her mom throughout the season. Now, if you don't remember, um, after this scene, there was actually a, um, you know, Monica fell down the stairs. I think this was for Ang Angie's Easter um, event. Monica fell down the stairs and there was some allegedly leaked footage that, um, that was released. There was some leaked footage that was released after this um event between monica and her mom so i wanted to go ahead and share with you guys that footage here so this is the um information that was here uh this was the video that was allegedly leaked allegedly sorry allegedly leaked you, the only thing that you did was unite those four assholes that's the only thing that you did mm. how how can you forget that your job is to get on air time, to get as, to get into as many scenes as possible? You gotta play nice. I know you don't like her. I know you got beef with her, but you're you're an actress. You gotta pretend like all is right in the world. It's a it's a job. It's a show. It's a, it's a reality show that you worked hard to get on. You left me completely in the fucking water with these bitches. You took Angie's side. I was not a disaster. I was not an embarrassment. You were in she, someone's home yelling and dropping S. So was everyone else. Go yell at them. Go yell at Heather. No, Go yell at Lisa. No one else was Yes, they S were. Calls. You should have been listening harder than I guess. You should have been listening harder. She started this it. Is a joke. Don't come over here don't and start this shit with me. Don't make it personal. You don't understand? Go talk to Lori because you're a fucking mess. And you fucked it up yesterday. She's the head person. You should know who she is. Okay. You are insane. You looked like a crazy person. Shout Just so you know. Me. on me you are so gross you should not you are so gross you shouldn't have run away run away i was leaving you are in my you face shouldn't have run being away being disgusting in front of you all those people disgusting. i was being disgusting you angie started disgusting. that shit. angie started it you put a kibosh on you don't know what you're oh. doing you, you don't, don't know what you're you doing you don't know what you're doing oh, okay you don't know okay what you're doing. bye Bye. You came over and, and you abandoned me. Like, I abandoned you. I, I abandoned you. I mm. Are you fucking serious? This is right crazy, now? guys. This is crazy. Are you 
fucking do this serious you. right now. I had to drive home in a shit box. A shit box? You should be grateful they paid for your ride. How about thank you for giving me a free ride home? How about thank you? I took the day off from work to do that. I did you. say that. Mm. And then you... No, you yes, I did. Mom, did. stop. Stop. The fact the that you are the victim the right month. now. I'm not saying I'm the victim. You are acting like a victim. Well, you're you yelling. said... Don't you said, it. I'm in my house. Down. I'm in my Ooh, house. Wow. Down. You don't want to be yelled at? Ten leaves. I don't have to. I don't have to. You, you are in my sight. house. You lost sight of the vision. You have you only lost sight of the job. Oh my God. You lost sight. You got <gasps> okay. out of control. And that's why and That's why Lori house. said my <laughs> was the best of everyone that Please night. And everyone else dropped the because you were the hottest mess that makes you the best. Yeah. That's what you Get want. Get the assignment. That's what you Get want. Get the to put assignment. Out. You, want you were disgusting. You looked like an awful mother. You didn't even Damn. care. I fell down the stairs. No, no you I wanted... didn't. Wow. Okay. Get out. Get out. Dead ass. Get out of my house. Nana is waiting. She's very upset. Thanks. And your boobs hanging you know, out was disgusting. Okay. Wow. Wow. Ooh, child, let me just stop right there. Oh my goodness. This whole situation was definitely crazy. I mean, I get it that her and her mama don't get along, but the way how they're talking to each other, the way how Monica is talking to her mom. Now, you know, a black mama would have slapped the hell out of their child. You can be, you know, 40. You can be 15. You ain't going to talk to no black mama like that. She going to get that belt. You can be a grown ass man or woman. She going to smack you across your damn head. Okay. No, but <laughs> I just feel like that the whole exchange was crazy. And was it really worth like I just they definitely need therapy. I think that Monica and her mom, we all been saying it on the show, they need healing. Like their relationship is so punctured and fractured. They need to go to therapy for this whole situation. They really do. They need to go to therapy and they need healing from this. So after everything was leaked and went down between um, Monica and her mom, because this was back in um, around Easter time, y'all, uh, Monica actually posted on her, I believe it was her story or her Instagram, she actually posted um, some receipts in her explanation of how the video got leaked and shout out to Reality Entertainment TV for providing all the receipts, okay? So she pretty much really came, um, she explained her side of the story and she threw Tanisha under the bus. Okay, so this is what she had to say. And I'm going to try to, um, let me try to pull everything up here on full and let me see if I can zoom in so y'all can see and I'll read it to y'all. So this is her kind of, you know, going down the um, receipts of, you know, this is her scrolling through what... Uh, I guess she sent to Nisha and she said there has now been a quote unquote leak private video film in my home between my mother and I. I sent the video to my best friend in confinance. We talked several times a day, spent every Sunday family dinner together. Holidays, our children were best friends. I never once thought she would do this to me, but here we are. She has been out in my secret. She continues to release screenshot recordings, videos, a photo she has dedicated to me full of things she plans to release. She has already been doing interviews and has been contacting people in my life for months to try to destroy me. This is a full blown, blown takedown by one of my once closest friends that my girls and I consider family. Brace for impact because she has a three-year-old friendship of information she has just been waiting to put out there on me. I full hardly believe in karma. You are all just watching that live, mine, watching me live mine, and I deal with it. I dealt with it. I'll face it. I deserve it. If you don't see what's happening here, I don't know what else to say. But screenshots released by my best friend, videos, everything happening to me, exactly like it was done on Reality Von Tees. I do want to apologize to my mother. I shared this video with my best friend. It was not meant to get out. I did not leak that. Okay, so that is what Monica said about um, Tanisha actually leaking everything. She kind of threw her, um, you know, she said it was Tanisha's fault. Tanisha was the one who leaked literally everything. Okay, so 
let me go back here and let me um hold on one second y'all let me go back so then tanisha went back and she posted on her story after this situation and she said somebody sent me a post at monica garcia made on twitter in regards to a video of her and her mom fighting let's be clear i'm not interested in tearing down her relationship with her mom i never leaked that very i excuse me i would never leak that very intense and disgusting video i will publicly say i think the way linda treated her daughter while i was around was disgusting and i would never waver on that option opinion that video wasn't sent to me I'm not interested in burning down her house. I'm interested in defending my name in regards to the page she blamed me for. I pray they work through their personal issues. I'm focused on building my house, not tearing her down in that way. Okay, so that's what Tanisha had to say regarding that situation, okay? And then Monica went back on her Instagram again, and she did a screenshot of everything that was pretty much, um, you know, how... Tanisha, I guess, saved the audios. And she said, yes, I have seen the leaked voice memos. Yes, I knew they were coming. Heather tried playing them all at the reunion. Tanisha gave everything to her. As recently as this Sunday, Tanisha has been saving my voice notes to her phone. Yes, my ex-best friend took my random voice notes, text, videos, everything is using them to get me fired and destroyed publicly. Imagine all the things you ever done with your bestie and said or said to your bestie being exposed, exposed. I'm sure we all have sent stuff to our best friends and we hope to never get out. OK, now that's what um, Monica had to say about that whole situation. And I just feel like that it's just a sad case between this whole this whole situation is a very sad case because I feel like that. I think that Monica is going extra hard because she's not looking good in these streets right now. She's not looking good. And, you know, Tanisha came on my show. We we had a conversation. She took full accountability. accountability. Sorry, I cannot talk today, y'all. She took full accountability for everything that kind of went down and um, happened in the beginning of the page. Okay, so now Monica is going, the act, taking that extra mile to you know, really go in on Tanisha. Tanisha has been defending herself um, as she should. And I feel like that is a there at this point between them, it is a tip attack. It's a back and forth, a back and forth. And it's like nonstop. Okay. It's a nonstop situation. Um, Tanisha will be coming back on the channel because she wants to, we're going to actually uh, release a couple of text messages and, um, we're going we're gonna to talk about a couple of things after the reunion because Monica does have her burn book and we're waiting to see what actually was said so we can try to debunk those um, statements. So just stay tuned for that next week. However, guys, I would like to know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation between Monica versus Tanisha. Who is right? Who is wrong? What do y'all feel like they both wrong? Do you feel like that Tanisha was just going out the way to be extra snarky? Or do you think that they both had a play a part in it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Now, also, what I want to share is Candace Diller Bassett from Real Housewives of Potomac had an opinion as well on this whole situation. And let me go ahead and share my screen on that. Okay. She had, you know, Candace is the queen of her opinions on Twitter, child. So Candace said that video, our shows don't work without authentic people who are willing to show the world their real lives. We all have a responsibility to stay true to that, as I said before. Okay, so that kind of went viral when she posted that um, a couple of nights ago. And people were kind of dragging Candace too. They said, y'all show kind of sucks though. Y'all need a Monica. One person said, take your own advice and let us know what's really going on with, with the husband. I know that where there's smoke, there's fire. You never addressed the pregnant woman rumors. And that only made them more real for me. So people were kind of dragging her. Um, up and down in that whole situation too um <laughs> and i feel like that candace girl just stay in your lane worry about but to like worry about potomac because potomac is dry as hell this season um and girl don't be now don't be giving opinions on everybody else but then when somebody have an opinion on me on you you be going you be getting mad and in your feelings okay 
But let me know about the alleged text messages in the video between Monica and her mother. Um, I want to know everything. Like I said, let me know who was wrong for leaking. Um, who who do y'all think who actually leaked the video? And then what is y'all what is y'all relate? What is y'all opinion on the whole video regarding Monica and her mom? Let me know in the comments, and we can go ahead and get that discussion going. All right, all right, bye.